Hello and welcome to another tenor guitar lessons with Mike Turnbull and um, this time I'm going to look at um, some chords that we've done already um, but in a different sequence G, C and D. So um, we know our position of G which is here which is the second fret A string G, D, A, D tuning. We've got G. C is just second fret uh, on the D string and uh, third fret on the A string. It's just, just a basic C. You can use the G, put the G in there, which is quite nice. Um, and then D, which is our second fret on the G string. Um, alternatively, you can put your uh, finger on the second fret on the top D string, which is quite nice for a G, for D, sorry. So. Okay. But also we're going to look at um, G in two other positions, which are your best friends um, in this lesson, because um, we're going to do some double stops um, as well. Um, so the other G, the first G, is uh, fifth fret on the D string, top D, uh, bottom D string. <laughs> which is just another G, just an open G. It's a, this is a G note anyway, and then you've got your G there. So it's a nice chord. So I've put those chords together and just hear the difference. So you've got... And like I did there, you can slide, slide onto it, which is really nice. The other G is in on the ninth fret, same string, ninth fret. And that's almost like a G major seven. And that's a really nice chord to resolve uh, something if you're playing something in G. And as an example, I'll just have a uh, play it through. It's just a nice ending chord. But also forms the basis of my um, double stops in this particular song or uh, piece of music. Um, so let's look at the, um, the scale. So we know our G is here. So if we go G there and then open A, second fret, third fret, fifth fret. 7th fret, ninth fret, 10th fret, that's our G major scale. Just do that again. That forms our basis of our double stops for this particular thing. So the, the double stops are two strings to play together. So we would go, on this occasion, we would go those two strings and then open and then those two strings. Now then, now we get to our fingering position now. So we're going one, uh, we're going fret 2 and fret 3 here and then the same again on the uh, fourth and then we're going to the fifth but we're, this is now uh, two frets apart and then the uh, seventh so the two frets apart and then one fret apart on the ninth So we're going, sorry, so what we need to remember um, for this sequence is uh, just the fretted ones really. So I want to look at, so an easy way to remember it is uh, um, second fret, third fret, so, um, so um, one 
So uh, one spacing, and then fourth fret, fifth fret is one spacing. So one spacing, one spacing, two uh, two spa spacing, two spacing, one spacing. So one, one, two, two, one. In terms of frets, so one fret spacing. Spacing, two fret spacing, two fret spacing, one fret spacing. So that's our fingering for the for the for the actual double stop. Um, so like at the on the intro, you heard me uh, play that, um, and it's just a nice way to play G, C, and D sequence together. So we'll just do that. So, uh, but I'll use the other chord positions as well to show you the difference as well. So we'll start with the first one. This is the first G. Okay, we'll do it, go to the second G. See how different it sounds. Now you can hear how um, double stops really work nicely in when you're playing G, and those uh, those like I say those those two G positions are your best friends if you're going to do that. Um, and of course, if you've got a capo on, um, you can recreate that in a different key anyway. So it's just nice to have that uh, under your fingers uh, sometimes. Um, another another way you can um, look at the the G scale is uh, if we do a basic G scale, which is um, Open two, four, five. Open two, four, five. So if we just look at the the scale on just on the D string uh, of G, so it's just the just those notes. If you want to play that sequence again, we can embellish the. Um, the G uh, with just using those those notes, so you can go. Cause you're playing the um, you're playing the G anyway. Open the, the G string. You've got because we know that the, we've got two D strings. We know that whatever we do on the D string, um, the two D strings is the same. So if we finger, if we do that for instance. We know that they're both D G's. Same note. And go down the, that scale.
So I uh, know you can see how um, just playing around, um, you can come up with all all kinds of nice things because you kind of got open strings mm. going on all the time. So it kind of makes things really cool uh, to play um, in the in the in the tuning. So I hope you hope you got something out of that and um, it wasn't too um, convoluted. Please subscribe and uh, do comment if you want any more. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again. Cheers. Bye.